Hey everybody, Dave Sands, Jokes and Stories here again, 1016 2020. Well, today's comedy is 10 Jobs When Your Spouse's Work Becomes Your Life, Part 1. I'm going to be telling you 10 jobs and um, about uh, if you had a spouse that brought home their work and what you would have your living environment and what you'd have to do. And this is just comedy. These jobs aren't bad jobs. This is just some funny comedy. So I, hope, I mean, I think it's funny. I, I've gotten people to think it's funny. So hopefully it's funny. Hopefully you'll think it's funny. So if you like this, press like, share, press subscribe, press bell if you like this, and let me know if you like it. And here it goes. I'm going to start out with 10 jobs. This is with 10 jobs that, uh, that <laughs> this is going to be crazy. I'll just go ahead and tell you. Start out. Number one, a taxi cab driver. And these aren't in any order. A taxi cab driver, they will drive really slow when you're riding with them in the car to wherever you go. They used to, they're they used to charging people on a meter by the mile or half mile or quarter mile or what have you to make as much off of their customers as possible. You'll be late to every appointment <laughs> when you're riding with them in their car. <laughs> um, number... Two, a preschool teacher, they may treat you like a little kid and give you a grade on everything you do. <laughs> oh no, they might give you a grade on or score on a love letter that you write them, like 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 you send them. It's like like on a report card or something, you know. <laughs> it's like to them, it's like a report card. Um, but uh, and they might say it wasn't sweet enough or it wasn't good enough love letters, so they're gonna give you an F and no smiley face. So. You won't get a happy gram or a smiley face on your love letter if it's not if it's not if it's not romantic enough, guys. <laughs> but uh, I'm just kidding. But, um, they might want you to take naps. They might want you to take naps. Nap time. Preschool teacher might want you to take a nap. It's nap time, boys and girls. He might have to take a nap during the day. <laughs> Number three, firefighter. They might. Get, they might get the fire extinguisher and spray out your candles after they're lit on a romantic candlelight dinner. When you're in the, can, when, wouldn't that be terrible? <laughs> when you're in the bathroom, they may go, they may get to go, they may get to go to the, to the, they may have to go to the bathroom too. And so they're gonna get, a, they might get the fire axe and chop down the door to go to the bathroom too, because they may have to go too. Your your spouse may have to go to the bathroom too. Wouldn't that be terrible? Not gonna happen, right? <laughs> it's a one hole, or you need to go and go to the outhouse, or go to the grocery store, or you need to start to use the bathroom, or go to, or go to go use the other bathroom, or something. Don't use mine because I'm busy. Don't chop down the door. That's a little eccentric, a little bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you're both at a, a place and you lock your keys in the car, they may get the jaws of life to cut cut into the car to open the, the car up to get out the keys the car keys wouldn't that be crazy tearing up your car the jaws of life oh we locked our keys in the car we're gonna get the jaws of life and tear up this car so i can get the keys out for you honey i mean you'll thank me afterwards yeah right <laughs> um let's see uh and number four a waiter or waiter or waitress they may charge you a tip after bringing your food to the dinner table that they cooked for you that night they might uh, write you a write you a meal ticket check a ticket to pay to pay for their cooking that they cook for you. Wouldn't that be terrible? <laughs> uh, number five, a police officer. They may give you a noise push ticket or a disturbing the peace ticket if you disagree with them. <laughs> <laughs> or you may go to jail for resisting arrest, not arrest, arrest, not arrest, arrest, arrest. <laughs> when you don't, when you don't want, when you want to stay up late and they're trying to get some sleep, they may give you a ticket for not being, not for you not taking a rest. <laughs> they may get mad at you. <laughs> Thanks for staying up all night and keeping them awake. If they are a canine unit officer, you may have to go to bed with them and their dog. Wouldn't that be terrible? Oh man, smell that canine, the stinkiest of canine. Hope he gives it a dog dog bath at the dog bath dog bath at the doggy car wash bath. <laughs> at the E.O. doggy bath or whatever. <laughs> you might be mis um, let's see. Um, you may have to sleep with the canine. If uh, you forget to feed the canine, you might be mistreating the dog officer. You would be resisting feeding an officer. <laughs> if you get locked out of your house and try to break in, the police officer spouse maybe may uh, be home and and you get um, may give you a, a 
for breaking in and entering and entering because you break get you for breaking and entering because you broke the screen when you got through the door of your house because you're locked out of your door out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> When you ride with them in the car, they may drive really fast and crazy, and and you'd be on like on a hundred percent adrenaline rush. <laughs> um, hey, you'd never be late anywhere. You'd never be late to anything. If you got a spouse that's a police officer, I'll tell you what, you better treat that dog right. He's an officer. That dog's an officer too. So <laughs> if you kick that dog out of bed when you're in bed with your spouse, you, that, that officer may say you're you're a uh, you're uh, attacking a, a fellow officer and you <laughs> may go to jail for that, who knows? But um, number six, a funeral home, uh, a funeral home owner. Um, they may use a coffin for you, for, may use coffins for you both to sleep in instead of buying a bed. <laughs> they may, uh, they may give you a eulogy love letter. <laughs> they may have visitation whenever you, visitation where you sign up to be a visitor whenever you have a family function. You have to sign up for visitors. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, number seven, an actor. They may be putting on an act every time you talk. You'd be like, what movie is this off of? <laughs> um, number eight, a stuntman. You're... Or, or a stunt woman. They may do stunts when you're in the car. They may do death to find fat feats with you. They may drive the car off the roof into the swimming pool into the backyard for a dive for a scene off a movie. <laughs> Number nine, a movie director. They may make you do a lot of takes or, or when you do something that doesn't meet their standards, they may say cut when you have a disagreement. <laughs> Number 10, and finally 10, the 10th the one, these aren't in any, any order of worst from least of worst or best of worst or whatever. But number 10, a movie producer, they will write movie credits and love letters to you. They may tip a waiter or a waitress millions of dollars because they, they're so used to paying actors big bucks. <laughs> this is just 10 of them. I got a part two I'm gonna do on here too of, of this. So I'm gonna be doing, this is, Ten jobs when your spouse, spouse, spouse's work becomes your life, part one. And I hope you like this. I hope this made you laugh. I'm gonna do part two, and it's gonna be even better, I think. So I'm gonna put that on soon too. So I know I was doing about jobs and jobs, job duties I did. I'm gonna have to get back to that too. But um, I hope you know that I love all my subscribers. I thank you all for subscribing me, and the ones that view it and will subscribe, and and even the ones that unsubscribe. <laughs> I love everybody. I'm a Christian. I love Jesus, and He loves you too. And I hope this made you laugh, and I hope to, that you have uh, have the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength, the Bible says. A merry heart beats be like a medicine, but a weary heart dries the bones. Don't get that weary heart. Let your bones get fat and marrow with my with my laughter that God gives me to make you laugh. Or my jokes to make you laugh, I hope. I hope they make you laugh anyways. So if you like this, press like, press share, subscribe, press and share it, press subscribe, press bell to get my videos. I do different kinds of stuff on here. and. So if you like it, check out my channel, tell all your friends about me, and I think you'll like it. I, I'm gonna, I do just a variety of different things, and I hope you like it, and Jesus loves you United too. And if you want to know about Jesus and how much he loves you and we want to have peace, put it in the comments, and I'll tell you how to become a Christian. And, I'll, and if you just want to shoot the breeze, just hit me up and talk in the comments. And I care about you all. I love you all. I'm praying for all my subscribers, and I, I'm, I'm going to pray for all the viewers, and even the ones that, if they ever unsubscribe. <laughs> I just love you all, and Jesus loves you too, and I hope this made you laugh, because if I did, I, I did my job. So, Jesus loves you, 19, and have a great day. Bye-bye.